Hey guys, it's Dave from Clean Pro Supply. I want to do a walkthrough video of this Mighty Flood Hog. It's a little different from the Air Hog, and I'll go through each machine on separate videos. However, with this one specifically, the Mighty Flood Hog is made for a couple different purposes. Initially, you can use it for water restoration if you're going to extract water out of a basement or any kind of water loss. This unit itself has two Mighty LX vacuum motors in it which are very, very powerful. You're gonna get about 180 inches of lift and about 225 to 250 CFM of airflow. So great for extraction for floods, but you can also use it for carpet cleaning, for tile and grout cleaning. You can even use it to reclaim water for pressure washing. So a very versatile unit, but this is vacuum only. There's no water pressure coming out of this unit other than just the pump out for the waste tank. So I'll go through each of the features and then if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment on the video and I'd be happy to answer either through a through a private message or answering the comment on the video that you post. So on the top of this machine, the inlet here, it's a two inch vacuum inlet. And then the air is gonna get sucked you know, through the vacuum hose to a wand or whatever tool you're using. Um, but beyond the vacuum inlet here, uh, the vacuum motors themselves are inside the casing. And then on the front side here, we have a dump. This is a, a wastegate valve for the wastewater dump. This blue tank is the waste tank. The black portion down here is where all the components of the machine are. So theoretically, the water is gonna get sucked in here, go down through a strainer basket, which I'll show you in a moment, into the waste tank. And then you can either dump it out of the front here when you turn the machine off to empty the, empty the machine. Or what most contractors are doing is while you're using the machine, you're gonna have a cam lock hose here with either a two inch hose or a one and a half inch hose. And this is gonna pump out. So while you're extracting, while you're using the vacuum on the front side here, this is gonna be sucking water in. And then on the back side, the 66 gallon per minute pump out is gonna be pulling water out of the tank to exhaust it into a toilet wherever you're trying to dump the water. So wherever you're exposed or disposing of the water, that's where this pump out is gonna push water out. Uh, however, if you're not using that, then you will have to turn the machine off to use the waste gate here. So on the side, we have three switches. There's a vacuum one, vacuum two, and then pump out. And then if this was plugged in, you would see these switches illuminate. It'll turn blue to show that it's on or you know turn off. And then there's also a dual circuit indicator right here. Um, because each plug, there's two plugs on here. This is where they connect the, the two cords. They're 110 volt cords. They will plug into separate circuits and this uh, blue LED indicator light will illuminate if you're on two separate circuits. If you plug both cords into the same circuit, then you'll pop the circuit and it's not gonna function, of course. So this will turn on and it'll tell you that, you know, whether you are or not plugged into two separate circuits. And then that way each motor will operate on a separate circuit. And then of course your pump out is paired into one of the circuits of one of your vacuums. So this one is actually gonna draw 13 amps and this one's gonna draw 18 amps in conjunction with the pump out. If you're not using the pump out, then you're gonna only draw 13 amps from that because that's what the vacuum motors are pulling. Moving up to the machine itself, or the top of the machine, this lid comes off and you can see there's a, a seal around the lid here. And then inside, there's a strainer basket right here. So anything coming into the machine, this will catch any larger debris before it reaches the pump out. And then that way it doesn't clog your pump out. And then on the inside of the machine down in here, there, there's your pump out pump motor. And then there's some sensors to uh, gauge the level of the water inside the machine and push the wastewater out of the machine to dispose of it. And then there's also these little float sensors here so that if the water fills up inside the tank, uh, this will engage upwards and that will actually shut the machine off. This is notched, just so you're aware. There's a little bar here, which goes into a notch here. And you line that up is you can see the, the strainer basket has no holes here. That has to protect the components on the back of the machine. So this does set down in like this. And then to put it back on, it's just the same way it came off. Clamp this down. So the internal components of the flood hog will be down here in the bottom of the black portion. Um, to access that, you would remove these two clamps. This tends to be a little easier with two people, but now that everything is taken out of here, this is unclamped. This will open up like a clamshell. The pump is still moving in there. Here we have the two LX vacuum motors. They are plumbed in series, meaning this one is pulling behind this one, and that's pulling on the machine or on the tank itself, and then that's plumbed out the back. 
So most of the components are right here. It's, it's really what you see with the two vacuum motors, some wiring, and then the pump out is actually inside of the wastewater tank. And then it's really just the wiring to the switches. So very simple design. If you have to maintain anything, replace anything, clean anything. And there you have it. If you have any questions, reach out anytime. Thank you.